Well, we're back at it again with another video on the JK. Today, we're going to put some much needed rocker guards coming right up. All right, well, today we're going to be installing a set of rocker guards from Quadratech. All right, let's get this opened. We'll be right back. All right, so in the hardware kit, you get all the washers and nuts and everything you're gonna need. You also get flag nuts, which we're not gonna need uh, in our Jeep because our Jeeps already have the uh, bolts inserted. If you have an older model Jeep, then you'll probably have to use the nut certs, or the, uh, not the nut certs, but the flag nuts. So the three sizes of bolts you're gonna be using is a six millimeter, an eight millimeter, and a 10 millimeter. And in order to facilitate this install, you're gonna need a ratchet, you're gonna need a 16 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter socket, a four millimeter Allen, an eight millimeter wrench, and a wobbly extension. Let's get to it. All right, so since we have the bolts in the bottom of the Jeep, or the, the nuts already in the bottom of the Jeep, we won't be using those, which are 10 millimeter. So that means we won't be using these four bolts, the large lock washers and the large flat washers. So just take note, you don't have spare parts, it's just that you're not using them. Locate the four holes along the factory pinch weld of your vehicle. Starting at the front of the vehicle, position the mounting tabs of the rock rails behind the pinch weld and align the holes with the factory pinch weld holes. At this point, go ahead and install the six millimeter button head bolts through the pinch weld and the mounting bracket with the washer on both sides and secure with six millimeter nylock nut. Okay. Do not fully tighten it this time. Repeat on the three remaining holes. All right, next we're gonna take our eight millimeter bolts. These are gonna go up into the bottom of the Jeep. So you're going to stack them like this. Lock washer, flat washer. And do that. There's one in the front and one in the back. Okay, get the first one started. Then get the second one going. And you can see that threaded hole down under there. And then remember leaving them loose until all the bolts are in. And then we'll go ahead and tighten it all up. We're just gonna snug these up. Next, we're gonna tighten down on the pinch weld. Go ahead. Oh, 
Well, we're not going to be able to get to that last one with the ratchet at all because it's too close. But they did include an Allen wrench, so let's go grab that Allen wrench and see if that works. So I went and got me a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, and then the Allen wrench that they gave us fits. So now, all right, well, that was a pain in the butt, too, so. <laughs> Might use a 10 millimeter socket and a stubby, well, a three inch extension and get that from underneath. Make it easier. You know, I don't need the extension. Just a deep socket. Now all we have to do is finish snugging down these and we are good to go. There you have it. Looking fabulous. So, all right, in an upcoming video, we'll uh, get some grab handles to get your butt up in and out of your Jeep easier. Awesome. All right, well, no need uh, showing you the other side because it's going to be just more of the same. So, there you have it. All right, well, there you have it. Now the left side's on as well. So, same thing, same thing as the other side. No issues. Looks really good. What do you think, Jill? It looks marvelous, darling. <laughs> marvelous. Just marvelous. <laughs> do you like it? I love it a lot. All right. Now you won't worry when I go Rock getting in some rough stuff. No, not now. All right, folks, well, that's going to do it for this episode of TFC. Happy wheeling. <laughs>